Okay, what if you want a second text to have the same animation or another simpler one? Now, we have all those elements prepared. I could place a text here. Let's go, for example, to start off the video. And if I don't have time to go inside here, go inside here, copy all those keyframes, well, actually, we would need to copy the directional blur and the opacity. So we would need to click here, uh, go to window, effects controls, and we would need to select this effect, those keyframes, and then copy them. I'll just copy the opacity. I'll go back to the screen and on this text, let me place it here, press T and just control V. You have the opacity and the text appears. Now, if I want the text to disappear, I know that I have my mask revealer ready. Select the mask revealer, place it above the text and select once again, F4, track mat, alpha mat, inverted. Place this forward. You see the second text appears and the second text will fade out with this mask revealer. This pre-composition, this mask revealer, I'll make it maybe orange so it's better visible, is like a ready fade outer for everything you want to use in After Effects. So you can save it as super fader or something like that. And then wherever you place it, you just take the layer under it, you make it to alpha inverted matte and it will very nicely reveal and hide. Or in this case, it will hide, of course. So you have this animation following the first text, then the second text, let's go, let it go, then it fades off and you have a super simple animation. I do hope that you understood everything. If not, you should take my bigger After Effects course where everything is explained step by step so you can follow through all of that I'm teaching. If there is something that you don't understand, you can ask me a question or take this bigger course because the bigger course is especially for those people who don't know After Effects so much, don't know what track mats, keyframes, animations, timelines, all of this I explain in the big course. And then when you follow my other designs like, like this one, you will already know everything and you will have no problem following. I hope that in any way, in any case, that you were able to create this animation, you did like this animation because it was really enjoyable for me to record. I had really fun doing this because it's it's simple and it looks very good. You don't have to be super advanced at motion graphics, but you should have an understanding if you plan to use YouTube for your business, you want to be a good video editor and you know that you will do this for years and years and you want to brand yourself on the web, it needs to look good. People are getting better and the quality is getting up, especially on important platforms. And I just hope that you enjoy those animations and like to learn them. Thank you so much for listening. For now, I'm heading out. Thank you once again and see you in the next one.